my presentation is the people that they are here. So uh, <laughs> that's my that's what uh, my company is called Meraki People. So I am going to uh, showcase or invite people popcorn style. I am not going to pick. So whomever would like to come for a very short presentation to tell us what is it that they do, please come. Feel free. Feel free. I don't need to choose. <laughs> My goodness. Please take another one. Okay. Uh, yeah, although I'm half Greek, I'm born in Athens, um, I think it's easier to speak in English to you. <laughs> For me, business language in Greek is very difficult to me. So my name is Christian or Christos uh, Kruse. Actually, my Greek family comes not so far from here, from Piana, uh, close to Tripoli, uh, at least my Yaya side. Um, so you wonder why we are now um, back into Greece or live into Greece because um, I was, as I said, born in, in Athens but raised in Germany, educated in Switzerland and we lived in Bali in Indonesia for quite a while um, until we decided to come to Greece and one of the major reasons to come to Greece was that we felt that we should live our second half of our life in Greece to contribute to the Greek economy but most importantly to the Greek people to bring them new inspiration and bring values and assets into Greece that also remain in Greece and that will not be sucked out again by any kind of foreign investors. So um, Nicole can talk about, um, we have actually two activities in Greece, two main activities. One is a very commercial one, another one is a youth empowerment one. The commercial one is that um, I'm running a company in London called Red Sand Ventures and we are impact investors. So we only invest into blue economy. So we, um, but we are not straight investors, we are more entrepreneurs. So we seek for entrepreneurial opportunities that are either from the organic farming or from different other impact verticals which could be the biodiversity, the ocean economy, so shipping a very important element in Greece which could be mobility, so we look at the future of the mobility and I think that's a huge issue in Greece. Uh, we are looking at urban, sustainable urban infrastructure at a big scale. Um, we run water desalination with zero impact um, for Greece and all these kind of things. So our activity is on a bit, little bit a larger scale, so we look always for um, for investments and projects and companies that we are investing in or that we develop on our own which have quite some significant not only impact in terms of what it produces or the people that they that we engage and employ but also about the lighthouse effect that it has right so um, without that it is in dry towels we are building at the Hellenicon airport project you might have heard about the Hellenicon airport project, um, the largest real estate development project in Europe. We are building a quite a sustainable urban infrastructure um, which will be maybe even off-grid. So with all the promotion and the marketing of that um, um, project there will be um, quite some visibility and people can learn from what happens there. Um, so water desalination is another very important aspect. Um, you know that water desalination in its current format is one of the most environmental um, problematic technologies because you produce water but you kill the fish in the, in the sea by deploying the salt that you suck out of the water back into the water it kills everything. Plus there are a lot of chemicals released into the water so we run actually a Dutch company that developed a solar empowered desalination where all the salt will be further and higher produced to either brick stones for building or purified for medical industry or anything else so we don't release any um, chemicals into the water and you know the water situation in Greece very well so we can deploy on a very good um, um, level water desalination to Greek islands or even coastal cities very simply um, and reduce the current water costs by 60%. So these type of things is where we are engaging. Um, 
very much interested in regional development, hence I'm very much interested in that, what she's doing. And yeah, that's why we're here. Sorry? Which academy? Oh, okay, good. So, maybe it might be interesting. I have a very strong um, attachment to football. So, in my previous life, I was an investor into Premier League football clubs, but not owning them. I was always buying the TV rights, so I'm very much um, interested in football. So we thought that football is a very good carrier for a good message of sustainability and we are building um, with one of the best Premier League football clubs together a huge football academy in Athens, which is at the first site just the football academy, but at the second site we introduce a complete new school system for the players who join the academy. Um, in a sustainable infrastructure environment I just was talking about a little bit earlier. The academy is very important because we will gain a lot of visibility where we can communicate new values in education, um, in sustainable living and many many other aspects. So, is that what you wanted to hear? Yes. <laughs> you want to talk about 25100? Huh? Thank you very much. Like Christiana wasn't telling us that we that we would be presenting something, so it, I was not being able to get nervous. <laughs> Thank you so far, so much for um, all of us being here together today. It's it's a, it's an honor and I, on such a beautiful day. Last night we had like a very beautiful dinner together, and we said we will move the clouds. And I always believe in this that the mindset is the first thing if you want to change something. And uh, like Christian said, we are a couple since already, like, since we went to school together and we um, got married here in Greece, so we have a strong connection through his family background. And um, even if I'm full German, I'm Ime Elinida Meradia. And I feel very much at home here. Also here in Astros, we have been now many, many times to Astros because we just, when we drove around the corner and we saw the plane, we felt like it's like uh, such a special energy and the, 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 it has an amphitheater-like atmosphere. And whenever we come here, we meet more new, uh, amazing, interesting people and it's very inspiring. Thank you so much for having us here. Yes, and we came to um, Greece with our inspiration from the time we spent in Indonesia in Bali for three years, we stayed there. Our children went to an amazing school called Green School, which is implementing very much the organic farming okay. idea already with the little ones. They learn how to grow rice, how to eat healthy, how to take care of their body. It's a very holistic approach. Yeah. And this is what we are also about a lot, also already from our family background. Even my mom had used to have in the 80s her first health food shop where Christian and I we were working in and really carrying all the organic food like uh, uh, up the stairs and try to get people being aware of even if in your own daily life you can make a difference right with what you choose to eat with what you choose to buy and and so this is what we are from the family background all about and we try to also bring this into our um, yeah into our family we have three sons and with them we went to the green school which was an amazing change of um, like lifestyle and being in a different culture and being in a community of people where you you meet such inspiring people from all over the world who who live this way what you have been just presenting also who who was like a meraki people in a way you met such, such amazing people and, and we, we realized um, we will live there in such a bubble that we wanted actually to bring that spirit to a place that is also very dear to our heart and that was Greece. And um, so since four years we are living in Athens and um, started a company with a, a youth empowerment company with uh, an intergenerational approach. So we started it from our home in our house uh, two and a half years ago with a group of 25 people, we are called 25100, mm -hmm. we started with 25 people and the idea would be that you don't need 100% of a group of people in order to make a change, you can just have like 
let's say 25%, and really bring an impact and make a change and, and get the ripple effect, so to say. And um, we started this in a very grassroots uh, way, integrating the young people in wanting to know their vision, how would they like to learn nowadays, what is missing in their educational field, and what could they imagine the world to be like, where do they want to be the ones that already in a young age, and we integrated our younger son at that time, he was only 12, um, in that what would he like the world to be in, and where he also has a voice also already as a young person. And that's we brought also from Green School, because there they want to educate young leaders who want to make a change for this world. And um, yeah, and, and uh, you must imagine these young people together with some of us more experienced ones, we're sitting in our uh, living room and we're creating this idea of what could 2500 be like. And um, so we started uh, saying it, we want to make a gap school for people who, who after school would not know what they want to do. They might have the exact way of what school is telling them and they have fulfilled all this and have good grades but they haven't looked into themselves what they really want to do, who they really are. And so we said this, we would like to create a place for those people who might not have the idea, but they want to do something and they want to get inspiration. And um, so this was one thing. But at the other hand, we also wanted to maybe reach people who already know exactly what they want to do. And they, they know, I want to make a change. And I invented something like the best friend of our son who invented a hot nozzle, which is, a, um, is a, a, something you put on the shower in order to get hot water right away, because he's coming from Cape Town, yeah, South Africa, where they have like very little water. And, and he said, but still people want to take hot showers, so this thing is saving water and at the same time creating hot water right away. And, and so people who have inventions like that, we want to support them as well, so they could uh, thrive, they would have the support from a network of mentorship and also of financial. And so we said we would like to create at the same time, besides this gap school, the school where young people can explore themselves and look into different fields, put their hands into the earth, learn how to cook healthy, take care of their body, and really take maybe some time off where they don't do anything, because that's what we are not used to, right? We always have to achieve, achieve, achieve. Mm -hmm. And this is what we wanted to give them as well. And as well, if you are a thriving young entrepreneur, um, in finding a way what you um, what you could do, but you have a small idea and maybe you reach two, three people, but not the big crowd. So giving them the platform as well to thrive. And um, uh, there is so much more to do. <laughs> there is so much more to this idea. It would be too long, but please go on our website, 25100.com, uh, and then you uh, will see much more or talk to us afterwards. And um, one of the dearest parts of it is, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, of course, it's an online thing to reach most people on this world, but still, like we see today, the best thing is, Maria, you are, <laughs> you are far away now, but it's nice to be with the people. So hopefully the times are changing that we can be with, with many more people, and we would like to create a place called Mazimas, Mazim. and a, a create a campus, a, a physical campus, which is a place that creates an atmosphere where you are just opening up yourself to really learn. For people in different age groups, of course focused on the youth, on young people, but also for people who want to make a change in between something, between two jobs, between uh, two lifestyles, and, and really opening it up uh, a place where people can share their experience and could come and give a workshop on organic uh, farming, on uh, um, knowing how to take care of yourself, on your well-being, how to get rid of uh, the conditioning we all have uh, gotten. And this is also one part that I am very much um, uh, taking care of. Uh, I am the person who, who very much loves 
to with the young people to work on themselves to get rid of this or oh, I cannot do this I'm, I'm, I'm not strong enough I'm alone or oh, my parents always told me this I cannot do this also to take care of this part which is like sometimes especially in school not even taken care of yeah. so <laughs> Okay. Translate. Of course, of course. One slide. 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 Το είναι που έβαλε στη σύγχρονη. Ποιο. Είμαστε βιολόγοι και κανένα. 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 Κανέν